national law enforcement under the banner of attending to the spiritual needs of police officers. But nowhere is there a mention of the extreme damage and harm law enforcement officers are committing all across the country. As people of conscience and people of faith, our spiritual practices are deeply embedded in equity and justice and the belief that we cannot be silent when black community members are being harassed and killed almost daily by police. We refuse to allow condoning police violence in the name of faith or spirituality. We do this for our ancestors. We do this for our ancestors. We do this for the ones who come next. We do this for the ones who come next. We do this because we were born free. We do this because we were born free. We do this because Black Lives Matter. 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 We are here to say stop killing black people. Stop the violence on our community members. To actually atone for the harm that police officers have committed in this country means an end to the rampant police terror and violence tearing apart our community. The homosexual agenda comes with a clear spiritual mandate. We are calling on all people, all people, people of faith, people of conscience, people who are angry, people who are hurting, across the South, take a stand with us by demanding an end to police violence and terror. This is a moment of spiritual awakening, and it is time to sleep no longer. We will not harbor police in the name of spirituality. We will not harbor police in the name of spirituality. We will not harbor police in the name of spirituality. We will not allow white supremacists to claim moral, moral authority. Our South does not have anyone who is disposable, and we are prepared to fight for our freedom. And we won't stop to all black people are free. And we won't stop until all black people are free.